Hey, Miss Monahan here again, and I am in Iceland still, and I am in the middle of a volcano. Isn't that so weird? I'm gonna show you around a little bit. Kind of trippy, huh? So I don't have much time here, um, but I am yeah in one of the only volcanoes you can climb into. That's still I don't remember what it is, but anyway, pretty awesome. So um, I'm gonna read to you a poem today that is a Robert Frost poem. Not an Icelandic poet, but I thought this one was so fitting. It's called Fire and Ice. So I'm in the middle of volcano in Iceland, fire and ice. And here's the poem, you can follow along. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if I had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, Ice is also great and would suffice, written in 1920. Oh my gosh, what a great poem. Um, so let's look at a few of the marked features. First, it's in um, Terza Rima, um, an Italian form Dante used. And um, some say the world will end in fire. What a nonchalant tone. Hmm, some say the world will end in fire. Not like it's a big deal or anything. We're all going to die. Um, and I think that that sets the tone right off the bat. Um, Robert Frost, not one for sentimentality. He believed that the world, um, he grew up in Vermont, or he spent a lot of time in Vermont, and it was a, kind of a, a very natural setting, and it's like Iceland here. And in nature, you understand that there are hard things that just kind of happen, that sometimes things go wrong and they don't fix. So some say the world will end in fire, some say nice, a nonchalant tone right off the bat. Um, from what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. So what is fire? Fire traditionally is associated with passion, anger, um, all of those, those strong, powerful forces that um, promote um, a rush of emotions, passion, fire. Um, but if I had to perish twice, so if we're going to die twice, um, I think I know enough of hate. So um, he's talking, clearly it's not just about um, fire. It's about more because he talks about hate. So he's saying this isn't just um, the literal. It's symbolic as well. I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice. So hate equals ice. So then fire um, equals desire. Um, but if I had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. And what are the icy things? The cold times of life, icing someone out. We use that colloquially. So... Um, we're, we can go down either way. Too much passion or too much ice. And um, they say that for a source, um, some people claim, some people claim it was um, talking about Dante, that he was alluding a little bit to Dante's um, Inferno. And the worst people there, the worst form of hell was um, to be a traitor and you were stuck frozen in ice in all of this fire. In the midst of all the fire, you're frozen. You can't move on, perhaps. You're stuck always in that same place. No progression. And Harold... Um, some people say that, and then some people say that he um, had a conversation with Harlow Shapley. Harlow Shapley said that Robert Frost got his idea for poetry from him. He was the top astronomer of his day, or one of them, and he met Frost at a party, and Frost was asking him, so how are we all going down? And he said, well, either um, we're going to, the sun will explode and we'll all burn up, or um, we're just going to drift into total deep space and totally freeze. So one of the two. Both um, interesting Form. So he said that it was just a nonchalant dinner conversation that became great poetry, um, blending of science and art. Um, also, I want to bring up um, how the length of this poem, so short, so fleeting, um, and it's um, kind of a, a beautiful statement that um, why would he do it so short and so, um, is life short and fleeting? I think that maybe he's suggesting that. Is it again adding to that nonchalant tone um, that, eh, you know, maybe this, maybe that. This is how the world works. Um, who knows? But all very cool. And what a great treasure in such a small space. Um, this is what I love about poetry. Like this volcano that no one knew about until some guy just saw a hole um, and his buddy lowered him in not knowing what he was going to find. When you um, stumble upon poetry, um, sometimes it's just that hole in the ground and you crawl in and you get to see something so glorious as all of this. Anyway, um, love you guys. From the bottom of a volcano, a volcano, um, Robert Frost, Fire and Ice. See you later.